folks, today we're going to be doing Flow Riders Let It Roll, um, which should be quite an easy one. This has been given to me to do it as a request. Um, it's really, really easy. We'd only need three chords for it. Um, the strumming part is probably the trickiest thing, but this should only take two or three minutes to learn. So let's get started with it. Okay, first thing we need to do is get those chords up on the screen. So here we go. We've got E minor 7, we've got C R 9, we've got D sus 4, and that's it. That's all the chords that we need. There's no capo needed on this as well. So all you folks without a capo, it's your lucky day. Okay, we can play this song nice and easy without a capo. So our first shape is E minor 7. Now, these shapes we're going to be using today are like the sort of easy sort of beginner shapes that we can use using our pinky and third finger on the guitar the whole time. Okay, and they're going to be sitting, pinky's going to be sitting on the third fret of the first string and the third finger's going to be sitting at the third fret of the second string. They will be in here the whole time. What we're going to do is going to be moving our first and middle round about this shape, okay? So, first thing we need to do is we're going to play E minor 7, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to play our first finger here, our pointer finger, is going to go to the second fret of the fifth string, and our middle finger is going to go to the second fret of the fourth string, okay? We've kept these fingers down here, our thumbs and our pinky, and we're going to strum down from the sixth string of the guitar. So we're, we're getting all the strings here, as you can hear, okay? That's our first chord. Now, once we need to change, what we're gonna to have to do is change to a C. Now we keep these two fingers, our third and our pinky down here the whole time. We're gonna move our middle finger up to that third fret on the fifth string and move our first finger to the second fret on the fourth string. And if we strum down from the fifth string here, we'll get a C add nine, and that's our second chord. Our last chord, all we have to do, which is D sus four, all we have to do is lift off the middle finger and put our first finger down a string to the third fret, eh, sorry, the third string at the second fret, and we'll strum if we can from the fourth string there. Okay, and that'll give us a nice sound. Okay, so we've got our four chords, uh, three chords, sorry, we've got E minor 7, we've got C at 9, and we've got D sus 4. Alright, so that's all there is to the chords. Now let's have a look at the strumming pattern. Okay, so our strumming pattern, what we need to do first of all is we need to understand what the order of the chords are. So the order of the chords are E minor 7, C at 9, D sus 4, and then the last thing, E minor 7. So we'll get this, this is our strumming pattern and I'll, I'll break it down for you. Okay, so we're going to be taking these chords as two blocks. We'll take the E minor 7 and the C add 9 together and we'll take the D sus 4 and the E minor 7 uh, together as well. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is play E minor 7. We're going to do this. So I'm doing down, up, down, okay? So down, up, down, then we're changing to C add 9, so we'll get this. We're going to change with a down stroke onto the C add 9. So it's down, up, down, change. Then to finish that off, on the C we're going to go down, up, down, 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 up. Okay, I'll do this really slow for you. Through the E minor and the C, we're going to go down, up, down, change, up, down, 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 up. Okay, once more. It's down, up, down, down, oh, sorry, down, up, down, down, that's a change, up, down. That's all we need to do for the E minor and the C, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to take that same strumming pattern, but we're going to split it over the D sus4 and the E minor 7. So we'll get down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. So that's the same strumming pattern as we just did, but we're just using different chords. We're using the D, down, up, down, change the E minor 7, up, down, 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 up. 
there we go. Okay, so I'll play through all the parts here for you. The, the song repeats through on one chord progression, so once you've got this down, you can play through the whole tune. I'll play it through really slowly for you, and I'll see the strumming as we're doing it. So here we go. Down, up, down, down, up, down. And that's all strumming partners for the song. So hopefully this lesson's helped you, you found it useful. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more videos. See ya.